Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect to your smartphone or tablet an Ethernet cable and virtual and USB device, such as mouse, keyboard, flash drive, game controller or printer. And the same applies to modern laptops, which don't have Ethernet or regular USB Type-A ports. Alright, so this is another product from the company Wimi, which I use on a regular basis. It's a plug-and-play device, which is Windows, Mac and Android compatible. It has three USB 3.0 ports, which provide speed up to 5 gigabits per second, one RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port, and it comes with this USB 3 Type-A to USB-C adapter, which is OTG compatible. So it's a relatively small device, made of aluminum and available in two colors. Check out the giveaway link in the description box below. Ok, so there's nothing special about the connection to your laptop, all you need to do is plug the adapter into a USB port and you can use it straight away. You can plug your external hard drive, flash drive, mouse and as you can see this adapter provides really high speed. Now let's connect this Ethernet cable and see what it does. So I have internet access, now let's check the connection speed. And it's 1 gigabit per second, as claimed. Finally, let's check the internet connection speed. And that's basically the speed that my ISP provides. So, what if you plug this adapter into your tablet or smartphone? In case if your device has a micro USB port, you need to buy a USB to micro USB OTG adapter. These adapters cost about 2 bucks, the link in the description. These are the same adapters, but this one is USB 2.0. Ok, next connect your OTG adapter and plug it into a micro USB port. And we got LED indication. So now I'm going to connect this wireless mouse and this flash drive. As you can see both devices work perfectly well. In case if you need access to your wired local network or high-speed internet, simply plug your network cable into the Ethernet port and you're good to go. It's very convenient, especially if you need to turn your Android device into a desktop computer or server. Now let's compare the internet connection speed between Ethernet and Wi-Fi connections. Pretty solid speed. This cable goes from a router which is behind me, and now I'll run the same test over Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, Wi-Fi connection is far slower than a wired connection. By the way, you can connect to Android devices via Ethernet cable. You just need a second Ethernet dongle, which costs about 4 bucks. So as you can see, it's pretty universal device which simply does what it has to. Nowadays, USB-C port has become a widely used cross-platform interface for both smartphones and computers. It's very convenient because you can use the same adapters or dongles for all your devices.